Hey there! Welcome back to another Sunday range day. We appreciate you joining us. We're going to have some fun this week. So, we have the Rock Island Armory M1911A1. And this one is chambered in the 9mm. I know, I know. That's a sin to some of y'all. But it makes it affordable. You can shoot these things. First off, we're going to show you that the gun is clear. There's nothing in the magazine. There's nothing in the chamber. This pistol is clear and safe for handling. Safety is on. i to get you a look at it there. I have to make an admission. When I first got this pistol, it was a really dry finish. Like a chalky slate finish. But a lot of hand rubbing and polishing, that's what I came out with. And of course, I changed the grips. I don't think I, I like them. It's, it teaches on with the taste on that stuff, right? Yeah, I'm, I like this pistol. It appears to shoot good, and uh, it actually hasn't even been on the channel yet. So, uh, yeah. So we'll get set up here and um, we'll shoot a couple targets. We don't, I don't want to stay on targets too much because I, I pretty much know this pistol. It shoots pretty well. And um, we'll get right into the fun stuff for you guys. I brought some hollow points today and we'll try to catch some bullets and just make a big splash, you know. So we'll get set up and we'll be right back. All right, gang, we're set up here. Uh, we're going to... I bring a, a mass amount of different types of ammo this week. What I planned on doing was doing some target shooting. I brought some of the regular old um, American Eagle Federal. These are just one, 124 grain full metal jackets. And uh, here directly, we'll see what uh, brought some Grizzly hollow points, some ammo incorporated hollow points. And I got a few of the Magtech Guardian Gold hollow points. And we'll try those on a can of tomato soup, water jugs, and we'll just have some fun with that. But let's see what kind of group this pistol will give us, and then we'll uh, we'll get to the fun stuff. Let's say you. I get my ears on and my eyes, and we'll send a few. I forgot my pistol rest today, so I'm going to improvise with my little bag here. Which is perfectly fine. All right. There we go. All right, that was all 10. Pistol is empty now. Chamber's clear. Everything's safe. Let's go check our target. Ten rounds. That did. Yeah, yeah. Strike one up. You owe me a cookie. But... I didn't bring the cookies today. I what? I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot the cookies. You get one when you get home. You heard her, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Look at that. All in the rain. Now, I am proud of this pistol. I mean, for, for what it is, this gun shoots really good. 
and uh, it's shocking actually. I, I really enjoy the accuracy on this pistol, but uh, we'll uh, uh, try a few other different ones and we'll be right back. Okay, gang, we're back. We're um, loaded up now with some of these Ammo Incorporated. These are 115 grain jacketed hollow points this time. There is some data there, 1160 feet per second and 344 foot pounds muzzle energy. So yeah, let's give these a try and see what these do. I've never tried these hollow points, so we'll see what happens. We might even try these in a water jug here in a minute and see what the reaction is on those. So let me get my ears on and we'll send five of these at the target and see what kind of group we get. We put some uh, new pasters up to hide bullet holes. So let's get rolling. Get my eyes on and then we'll send these. I pulled on that last one. All right, mag's empty, chamber's empty. So we got a safe. Let's check it out. Yeah, I pulled on that last one. That'll be the low one. We won't talk about that one. But you're still in the group. We're all in the eight ring, so that's not bad. Two, three, four. And we won't count that one. <laughs> Is that the anti-cookie shot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we didn't take no orange with it. But yeah, those, shot, those actually shoot pretty smooth. I was expecting them to have a little whoop to them, but they didn't have, uh, I don't know, they just didn't kick that bad. So, all right, let's move right along. All right, gang, we're back, and we've got the American Eagles loaded up here, the uh, 124 grain ball rounds for metal jacket. And I can't leave this range without shooting some of this wonderful steel here, you know? It's just part of the thing, right? So let's see how many we can knock down with a full mag load of 10 on that. I got him, but he didn't fall. Uh-oh. All right, be right back. I double tap to get that one down, huh? Now those are leaning forward. They're a little hard to to get a bead on, or to, to get in the file. But we tried, didn't we? All right, it's clear. Gun is safe. Yeah, it's fun. This is a this is a dandy pistol. I really enjoy this gun. It's uh, I have to say I like it. Where it's nine millimeter, it's affordable. We can shoot it at the range, and you know. We can say shoot it all we want because ammo is still a little expensive, but uh, yeah, like I said, it is clear. Mag's empty, chamber's clear. So we're safe for handling. But yeah, I like the I like the feel of this one, and I'm not really I've never had an issue with slide bite on this gun. A lot of people talk about that with these. Of course, I don't tuck up real heavy either. I I kind of let it give its own, you know, give it plenty of room to work. Yeah. It is. Got to love a 1911. Sure. All right, let's get set up, and we're going to have some fun now. All right, we've got some of the ammo ink 
uh, ammo loaded up here. Actually, we got one round of it in here. And we've got, so we've got our trusty old jugs out there. We're going to try to catch one of these ammo inks. Let's get to it. This is what you all came for, right? Alright, let's check it out. Anything, anything at all. Well, the first one went straight through. The second one looks like it went through too. Nothing there. So this one I don't see. I didn't see nothing. No. Nope. One of those lovely little bounces again. It seems to go through one or two and then go somewhere. Well, let's try it again. Okay, we've got another one of the ammo inks loaded up here. Let's see if we can uh, not catch it. I see bubbles. Uh oh, I think I see it. Uh oh, I do, yeah. Pretty good. We went through the first one, went into the second, hit the back wall of that one, and right there sits the bullet, and into it we'll go. Let's see here. Let's see what kind of mushroom, if any, that that gave us. Oh yeah, Gosh, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, the phone cleared up too. I can see it. Awesome. Got a little bit of frag off of it. Not bad, but that is a beautiful mushroom on that one. Awesome stuff. All right, let me go get another brand and we'll try it. Okay, we're back. We've got one of the Magtech Guardian Gold 9mm loaded up here. And let's see if we can catch it. One around in. Right, let's see what we got. Ooh, I think I see it, maybe. In this one? Yeah. Let's see. That one didn't get touched. Oh. Oh, yeah. Good eye. I will give you a cookie, but you didn't bring it. That and went to pieces. Yeah. See the jacket totally separated. There's your core and the center. Alright, we got one more to try. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back and I decided I'm going to try another one of those uh, Magtech Guardian Golds again. Um, really wanting to try to catch that. I don't know. We'll find out this time if it's just the reaction with water or what. But uh, I don't know. We'll find out if that's why it fragged out the pieces or what went wrong.
Any tiny little pieces? No. They went through that one. There's the hole, as you can see. So, didn't go through that one. So we'll, uh, let me try this. Let's see. There's the first jug down here. It just blew the bottom out again. I'm noticing that is a trend here. For sure. Here. You've seen that too, ain't you? And over here, we're getting jacket fragments. I think those are just fragging into pieces. I don't know. You tell me what you think. We can go on with this all day. I've got one more type of... Uh, hollow point to try and I'll get set up with that and yeah Okay, we've got one of the grizzly hollow points loaded up here, and we're going to see if we can catch these in there. Um, let me see. That is one of those, if you can make it out here. I have better pictures at the end of the video. You know what I do there. But it looks like an Allen head, hex head hole in the end of that hollow point. But let's see what kind of reaction we get on this one. And one in the chamber. Well, you ain't catching that one. It came all the way through. Go through every jug? Every jug. Wow. My goodness. Okay, and a hollow point went through four jugs just now, guys. If you all... I mean, clearly. That is... That's not the one. My goodness. That was it. We did not catch that one. Let's try it again real quick to see if that ain't a fluke because that usually goes through a couple anyway. That clearly went through them all. That's insane. All right. All right, we got one more loaded up. We're gonna to try to catch these real quick and see if it just wasn't a fluke or what, but uh, let's see what we got. One bullet in the chamber. Don't oh, see anything. I think it went through again. Yeah, look, there's a... Two holes. Two holes right there. All right. I'm no genius at it, but that tells me there's no expansion with that hollow point to do that. I mean, those of you who've seen these range days, they, uh, yeah, it usually takes uh, one to two jugs to stop one. Maybe on the third, but uh, it'll be in that second to third one. That is interesting. Hmm. I don't have the water to line up like six jugs, but that is some serious stuff.
Okay. I wanted to show you all this real quick, take a take a break back. This is the uh, the grizzly we just fired that went through four jugs, I think it was, on this last frame before this went through three jugs. But this is, if you get a clear image of what it looks like, let's see if there's some specs on here. Nine millimeter plus P, 124 grain jacket at all the point. I mean, what do you all think? Put it down in the comments after the video. I mean, that, that just couldn't be any, any uh, expansion whatsoever to, to sail through four jugs like that. That's something. Well, we got one more thing to try. Get set up. Okay, we got one of the Ammo Ink hollow points versus a soda can. Let's see if we can hit this. I'm getting behind you. <laughs> Oh, you don't want to get sewed it up, huh? Oh, you did smart. <laughs> did smart. Well, that opened it up, didn't it? My goodness. Yeah. Shot a little high and came out the back. Lovely. Oh, you don't want to get sewed it up, huh? You did some. All right. Today's menu, we're going to have some tomato soup. Why not, right? Okay, one bite, one bullet, one can of soup. Let's see how many of this can of soup will serve. <laughs> Doo -doo oh, I missed. That's what happens when you get too uh, confident of yourself against your against the can of soup, huh? <laughs> All right, let's try it again. There it is. Oh, straight through it, didn't it? Yummy. Yeah. Yeah, needless oh, to say. Went all the way over there. Yeah. Needless to say, all the canned food's expired, or we would not be doing this. I don't waste food. But I mean, I think it was MC once said, you. It's definitely expired now, right? <laughs> All right, let's meet back at the table. Okay, that wraps this one up, guys. You can see what we went through here. Majority of all those uh, full metal jackets, ball rounds were the American Eagle Federals. And these were the ones that you all saw firsthand. It just a hollow point zipped straight through a jug. Four jugs in a row. I have never seen anything remotely close to that. And the exit hole on those um, jugs was as big as the bullet. So that tells you there was no expansion on that at all. I mean, I don't have ballistics gel to be able to do this sort of thing, but even in water, we see results. That's like we said with the uh, the ammo ink stuff here, the 115 jacketed. That gave us a beautiful hollow point or a mushroom expansion on that. Uh, it's tickled with that stuff. And uh, these, they definitely opened up, but they just fragged off into little bits. So you saw it first, guys. Had fun either way, didn't we? Okay, that wraps this one up. We uh, found out some interesting stuff today, for sure. And uh, once again, the gun is clear. The magazine's empty. The chamber's empty. It's safe for handling. But yeah, going over that different ammo and stuff, that was really interesting. I've never had a hollow point go through the jug like that one did. And uh, 
yeah so yeah these are good little pistols uh well not little pistols but you know, 1911s huh? rock island does it right reliable fires every time i have no complaints with it seems to be pretty accurate too so thanks for tuning in guys we really appreciate you every week like this all of your support and everything is greatly appreciated to the channel and uh, if you don't care please leave a comment afterwards after the stream or the video and let me know what uh, what you think about it and uh, give me some ideas if you got any we're always open to that guys once again thank you so much the waynes appreciate you take care <laughs>